Hey YouTube, what's up? Wade here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a working Game Boy Advance emulator working on your iPhone or iPod Touch. This is very simple to do, just follow along. Basically, you go into Cydia. Okay, after Cydia loads up, go to Manage, Sources, Edit, Add. I want you to add this source right here, guys. Which I'll look at that really quick. Sinful iPhone repo dot com add source add anyway after your sources get done refreshing press done go to search and type in GPS okay GPS then you're gonna scroll down until you find GPS iPhone cracked you're gonna install that you may need to reboot your device um, after that you should see this little icon right here um, with a little Game Boy Advance you're going to open that up okay now the first time that you open up GPS phone you're not going to have any ROMs in there whatsoever you will be given the option to search for ROMs um, via Safari but in my opinion don't use that method because lots of times it doesn't even work I suggest just SSH into your device Okay, now those of you who do know how to SSH into your device, you're going to navigate to VAR, Mobile, Media, go down to ROMs, GBA ROMs. Okay, now, right here is the tricky part. I'm not going to give links out to where you can download the Game Boy Advance ROMs because that is considered piracy. The only reason I'm making this video is to show you how to do it. So, after you have downloaded your ROM, wherever you got it from, it should come in a zip file like this. You're going to have to open up the zip file, like that, close. You're going to take the ROM, and you're going to drag it to your desktop. Okay, now once that file is on your desktop, you're going to take it and drag it to that folder that we opened up on SSH okay just take it and drag it press copy or whatever method you have or choice you have just copy it just give it some time Okay, now that file is in that folder. We're all done. Now go back to your device. You're going to exit out of the application, then go back into it. And now you should see the ROM. Go ahead and open it up. You can choose portrait and sound, portrait and no sound, landscape and sound, landscape and no sound. I'm going to choose landscape and sound. Pokemon. <laughs> and that's how you install a Game Boy Advance emulator on your iPhone or iPod Touch. I do apologize that I could not um, provide you with direct links to where you can download ROMs, but with this piracy thing going around, I do not want to get in trouble. Please understand that. And I'll check you guys later. Peace.